This is quite a serious subject, but at the same time something that people don't even think about. It's water. Um, in the Philippines you may not have noticed even if you've been there as a tourist because people have large water tanks like the one in this, this image. Um, the fact is most people store water in containers if they can afford it. Um, it goes off, city water goes off at certain times of the day not sure why, um, whether it's to save money, I have no idea, but you, you'll find that it could go off two or three times a day, um, and it's only once you're there full time you'll actually notice. The other side of this being that if you haven't got the big tanks, you will find that in most Filipino houses, they will have the tap switched on, and under that there'll be like a big bucket and, and a little ladle, like the one on this image here um, this is this is for two reasons the first thing is that's how people have a shower so don't be shocked if you go in there and go what am I supposed to do with this you actually just scoop and shower with it um, it's like pouring a pot over your head um, that's that's how most people do have a shower in the morning um, the other thing being is it will fill up with water when the when it's accessible um, the reason this is important is that if you imagine you go off to work, you've had your morning shower, but you want to shower when you get home. Um, if you don't have a bucket in that there, you could get home and there's no water to have a shower. You turn the tap on and there's nothing. Um, this is why people will put buckets and that under there because they'll fill up. Um, but also they know the water switched on. What I mean is that you'll hear the running water hitting the bottom of the bucket as such they'll um, fill up like even if you have a water tank outside you don't you might need to prime a pump for example because um, not all um, water systems are gravity fed as such you will need to uh, draw it up well you don't want a pump running without a water supply so this is this is why the, having the bucket there is important because it lets you know that the water's back on. So that's the basic side of it. On it, the next thing is um, the water's not drinkable. I highly recommend not drinking it at all. Um, as you see on this image here, we even have filters at the end of the tap um, because we have stones and stuff coming it uh, come through the water system. So if you're getting stones, imagine what bacteria gets through there as well. You don't you don't know what's in the water system. Um, this is why this is only for washing. Do not drink it. The water containers are pretty big. Um, you buy about three of them for a hundred pesos, and that that will probably last a couple a month. So a hundred pesos a month for a drinking water isn't bad. Also, the drinking water is the same water that's come from the uh, deep wells and whatever, but they've gone through a filtration system. I'm not arguing with anybody over how good is the filters or whatever. It all depends on what filters are being used. Um, there's, I know some of them are like 26 stages and all this sort of stuff. I'm not an expert on water filtration. But what I will say though is be wary um, of some of the stuff in the water. Like I said, don't drink out the tap water. When I was on Negros Island, there is mango, um, mangoes on plantations up in the hills. They put chemicals into the ground, which is actually killing the fish in the rivers and also some of the damaging some of the lower lying um, rice fields and stuff. They've got problems there because of the chemicals being pumped into the water by the guys that do the mangoes on the top. So there is stuff in that water that is not drinkable. Um, some of it I question if it's stuff you even want to get washed in because you don't know what's in it at all. Um, but those are things to be aware of. Now one of the things I would recommend doing is, you know I've mentioned before about we put our water tank about 20 foot in the air. Now back when we were originally looking at water heating um, it was very expensive to get a solar water heater 
um, but I have seen several now at seriously cheap prices. When I say seriously cheap, about 20,000 pesos, um, which for a family's use is it's reasonable. I, an electric shower is four and a half, eight thousand pesos. So getting a solar heater system which just sits on your roof and doesn't cost anything seems a much more viable way to do it because it's using um, solar, low maintenance, low problems, no danger of electrocution. Now if you do run out of water, there's always the hand pumps. You'll, you'll find them uh, all over the place. Even people use neighbors ones. Um, the only thing with these are is they do take a bit of work and this is why I said before we had a piggery again we'd actually use a solar pump because they'll be connected on this um, but if you actually run an electric pump they are quite expensive to run that's why you know your 300 pesos a month for your city water is far more viable than the electric pump because it will run four times more than that in electric um, but also with the city water they're normally high up reservoir so it's gravity fed so you can pretty much get it where you want where the water pump may struggle to get it over certain areas if you've got air in the system for example but i find with the city water once it's set up it's not really an issue because um, even our water tank like i said it's about 20 foot in the air it's gravity fed it's fed because the reservoir is way up in the mountains up here we are sort of living down here because the water levels are it basically just fills the tank up no problems um, and that's pretty much water uh, if you've got any questions on water please feel free to ask and the reason I say that is because it's quite funny some people will go well, hang on a minute but how do you actually shower with a bucket and stuff you know how, do, how does that work it's a completely different cultural thing that's why we have these conversations because some of it it just seems logical um, if you live there all the time but when you're first there you're sort of like where's the shower gun there's a tap tap in the wall and this bucket on the floor what, what am I supposed to do with this because of the change in culture um, because an electric shower is a, a luxury item in the Philippines for most people um, personally I don't I don't see a need for one because uh, even the cold water is actually refreshing you know like you've been out on your motorbike or some all day come back you're dusty you're sweaty etc having a cold shower um, well I'm just doing that I don't actually do that <laughs> I used to do that a long time ago but we actually have um, it fed through uh, shower heads but it's just refreshing you know it, it even cooled off but like I said we've got that big water tank up in the air in the morning it's, it's quite hot anyway yeah, it's cost nothing to run uh, which is good alright thanks for watching